Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. Um, today I'm going to be showing with you how to make one of these gorgeous Ascot boxes. I really love them. So inside is the instructions. Um, and it's this month's showcase so there's all the dies I think it's 35 dies yeah and you can get a smaller one and a taller one and some of the design team have made an even taller one um, you get um, a handle and you get like um, lockable catches as well and you get the matte layer dies and your detail dies and some frilly dies along here I like to call it a frilly die <laughs> um, yeah and and uh, tags there as well yeah it's, it's really nice so I've made two already and I found because in the instructions it says use a bone folder to um, curve your card, but having where's my <laughs> I did have it out here, but oh, it is. I found it. Oh, sorry about that. Pen dropped out. I found it better if you use something like this, um, a rolling pin or whatever you can find. But that is round. Um, it gives a much better curve to your card and because um, the first time I tried it I done one of the little ones and I'm gonna do the little one now to see whether that helps but I tried it with the bigger one and um, I'll just get it actually oops really fell over myself so I just undo these ribbons Ooh, if I can that is put your glasses on Julie tied it good and proper should have done this beforehand right Let's just take one off. Hopefully, yeah, you you can see. So it has made a better um, shape of the box, and um, the first one I done, it it was sort of like that, like a rugby ball, sort of that. But once you get the lid on, um, it does go round. But it's a better shape if you curl it with a rolling pin. Um, do I need that? No. So I've already started. Um, you'll need two large circles, two of the rims, because that's the other one going to go round there, and then uh, two of these, because that's your little um, frilly skirt. That's what I call it, but I call it something else. What do they? lid skirt that's it your lid skirt so that's that so that's where your lid and that's to um go on top of the other circle and then we need um two circles and two of these ones, that's your sides, and two of these, okay, and I've already bent my glue tabs round. Now, I haven't stuck um, anything on because this is a really flimsy paper and I'll probably be able to get that round the curve, but if you've got anything thicker and, you've, and you have matte and lead, then st stick it on whilst it's flat and then start to curve um, 
yeah otherwise you won't get it to go right I don't think that's what I done last time so I've also cut out some of these and when you cut out these it cuts out it comes out like that so and you've got a score line here and a score line there and one just there so what I like to do I like to bring this back that one up and then this one I bring back so that when it folds up and you've glued in there so those stick together it makes a circle look like that okay and then you're going to put that onto your side of your box right that's the end part so we're going to glue these side panels together on this bit let me bring it right up to the camera there's um, a score line there don't bend that one okay that's on all of them all right so you've got another one here as well look on that side panel don't bend it I'm only bending these ones along there like little teeth there's my camera there okay and like that one I've done already and there's my score line look but don't bend it right so now we're going to come and it's just for a guideline really so there's a score line there and then we're going to bring this one and just glue on I'm not going to bring it right up really hot here today well not hot but it's it's warm really warm they look complicated these boxes so I'm sticking this to the outside so that when you turn it over and and you, somebody takes the lid off you can't see your markings in you know your glue tabs inside what's that on there it's a bit of dried glue I think so I'm going to come this way around Try not to get glue on there. So this is going to be the largest circle, okay? You're gluing this to. I've got a big glue blob there. So all I'm doing is just gluing my little teethies. They look like teeth, don't they? I think what takes the time when you do anything like this is the cutting out isn't it and then you can sit back and put it together you, you know and enjoy the process Yeah, when you are gluing like 
these side bits here don't take them right up to that score line because um, you see now look so I've left a little there's a little um, gap away from that score line. do you know I can't see because of yeah there you go okay and that's what I've done on the other side as well Don't worry about it because you're going to cover that up anyway. So once we've done that, we can now put that one on top of there like so. Alright. Oh, excuse me. And also, um, take these and cover up where you've made that join as well. Alright. Now, because this was just paper, I've put um, a 216 um, on the back, um, just in a light grey. Because I thought it went with the paper. And that's going to go around there. So I like to do quite a big area of glue Let's just give that another push down And also, like I say, you'll you'll be needing to curve these around something round as well. Then we're going to start and put one on the other one. Let's just put a little bit more up to the edge. Keep pressing all the way around.
there. Leave the lid to dry. And then we're going to start the same process with this side. So where's that side with that? That's it. Now I'm hoping this is going to work with this one. That's what I'm hoping. Because I did, um, I'm just going to see whether, what I tend to do is I don't, um, bend those over until I've curved it. Let's just give it another oh that's why I've been rubbing glue off my fingers. Yeah, those score lines on here are just a guideline really to show you where to put glue. like that might work a little bit better so exactly the same process over again as we've done with the other one it's quite easy to do isn't it just a, a matter of um, manipulating your um, card or your paper into a rounder shape This red card is um, 240 and I don't use anything um, higher than that because your score lines um, it doesn't fold nicely 250 is okay but once you go above that it, it doesn't give a nice effect So you could be using um, your pearlescent card with this as well. So I've just got the last two little um, glue tabs to do. Mm. 
Oh, that has made a better shape die doing that. You, um, and all the ladies out there, if you haven't got one of those rolling pins, um, any sort of deodorant can or any, I don't know, uh, what else is round like that? Polish can? Do you, does anybody use polish anymore? Anything sort of, you know, an aerosol can or whatever you've got to hand. But I don't use this for anything else. This just stays up in my little crafty space. I hope you can't hear my neighbour's music. She thinks her house is a disco, you know. Right, let's just bring this round. Now I haven't done it with this one, but I've got a brown one, I've got um, some pink, and um, this, this die here, brown one, what am I talking about, the red, red one, this one here, um, which comes out of your um, skirt piece, if you um, cut it down um, to the size that you want, um, that sh that uh, um, covers the joins. That's what I was going to say. Get it right, Julie. Can't get my words out. Yeah. So that little piece will cover the joins. You, you can cut it down to what you want because. Um, these only come round a certain way, a certain, a certain way. To a certain, because that's going to come over the top of there like that. Like so. And then you're left with a little bit of, of gappage. <laughs> yeah, a little gap. <laughs> and then, um, I don't know where that come from. And then, see, if you put that up there, it covers it all up. You don't have to. It's it's up to you. So we're going to put this on now. And like I say, it's only thin paper. Where's the glue? Oh, dear, oh dear. It's my age, you know. <laughs> when I was younger, I must say, when I was younger, I used to think, what are people on about when they say it's my age? And now, I'm getting to that age now, and I, <laughs> I realised what they were going on about now. <laughs> oh dear. I always leave a little, I don't know what it is, I always want to leave a little red, um, bit round as well but you don't have to it's up to you whatever you do you can use the detail dies as well just try and get some little bits of glue on those points without bending them. <laughs> That'd be just like me. Let's just see. See what 
what I mean. You get that little gap there, don't you? Just push that back. Yeah, that has worked. I like that because it's give a nice round shape. That's all. Oh, that's just um, push that on some more. Ooh, it's creasing. It's only thin paper. Leave it alone, Julie. I'm going to have greases in there. So now, what we're going to do to hide this bit here, we're going to put this on like so, and there is a little score line. Um, in there as well so we're just going to bend that up slightly and the same again and that hides that but I'm not going to put any below there because I want it to lift up Now, this is exactly the same process if you want to make the bigger size one as well. The only thing I haven't shown is how to do the handle. But if you find um, Tonic's YouTube channel, they have got a video with that on. And you're looking for Leo. I think it's Leo and Karen actually. Right. Let's put those on. Now we're going to come to these little bits here. I'll just put my glasses on. I just want to put some little dots just over those and then those all those all bend up look See what happens. Does anybody else talk to themselves when you're crafting? Well, it happens to me all the time. Right, let's do this one. I think that's quite neat because when um it's all folded up it looks like one piece so I know. I, you know that bit where I said you could, it, if I stick this on, if I stick that on there, it's got to come up and I, um, if I stick that on there, right, um, if I've got another uh, grey colour, You could put another piece on there, couldn't you? Or oh, the red, maybe. But I'm just going to go for it. 
just I'm gonna stick it on now. So now we need to glue all of this back now. I'm just going to lift that up, bring it back down, lift it up again. I suppose because it's Mm. I was going to say, if it's paper, because you've got this ridge inside, I did put card around that bit there, and then because you've got the ridge inside, I couldn't get the lid right down on um, the first one I've done, so um, don't be doing that either. Um, where's my other one? That's it. It's... Let's do this one now. Oh, I've already done that one. That's good. Crikey, I can hear an helicopter now. Yep, here it comes. Just bring that. Want it up just a little bit. That's it. Why do they make so much noise? <laughs> <laughs> dear, oh dear, and I've got off the window open because it's so warm today. Right. Now the last thing to do is to put on so those would tie up with a little bit of ribbon yeah I'm pleased with that that does give a little a nice round shape with and um, doing it with um, something round and I want that up that way this is just paper to match the bottom this is some um, paper I had um, in my stash. <laughs> Come on, everybody's got loads of stash, haven't they? I like the soft grey with um, that red, it looks nice. Now, because that's got um, white in there. <sighs> Let's just um, see if I can. Oh. Surely I've done it, have I? There, I have. I've been rearranging my crafty space as well. I'm going to um, sort myself out a bigger piece of ribbon, I think. Did I put a... No, I haven't. I was going to say I've got one... Um, another circle over there.
fingers. Don't want to do what I want them to. <laughs> Pain of my life, that is. <laughs> oh dear. Now, I would mess about with that and and get it to work I want it, but I'm not going to. I can do that off camera. And tidy up that end what I snipped off as well. These scissors are not very sharp. So I use them per... <laughs> Cutting glue and you know glue tape and come here. Yeah, I'd fuss about oh, that one's gone a little bit better to how I want it. This one hasn't. <laughs> right, we're going to turn it upside down because I've got all those um, glue tabs showing and we're just going to put that on there. Yeah, that has worked out a lot better by just rolling that card instead of running your bone folder over. Don't get me wrong, it does work. But it doesn't give you that nice shape, and it'll give you like a, um, a not unless I done it wrong. It could have been me, and I didn't, because my hands are not. What's the word? They're not supple. Supple, my hands, um, because the arthritis in them, um, they won't always do what I want them to do. So that could have been my mistake. But I did find it, it shaped better with one of these. There you go. That's your box done. Lovely little thing. And you can put flowers on top, you can put gems around, you can do all sorts. Anyway, I'm going to go and I'll see you again real soon. Bye bye for now. Oh, and thanks for watching.